Hello everyone, today in this video I'll be discussing the module 3 of uh, DDCO super important questions. In this uh, module we have 5 super important questions uh, which are most repeated uh, from the previous papers. So uh, this is about the computer organization from the module 3, 4, 5 it will be about computer organization. So uh, let's get started with the uh, questions and uh, before starting please do like and subscribe it helps you make more videos like this. So without wasting more time let's get started. So the first question is write one address, two address and three address instructions to carry out C is equal to A plus B. Okay, we have to use three methods to write it. Okay, so we'll start it like this. There are three types of basic instructions, namely three instruction format, two instruction format, one instruction format. Okay, so let's understand each one by one. In three instruction format, consider the arithmetic operation C equals to A plus B. Okay, what is present in A that value plus what is present in B value that answer will be uh, stored in C. Okay, so step followed during the evaluation are access the first memory operand A and access the second memory operand B. Perform the addition between the two memory operands. Store the result into the memory location C. The mathematical representation is equal to C is equal to A plus B. Okay, so the format is as follows for the three address format. Okay. For the three address, we'll be having three uh, spaces here. First is operation code. As always, we'll be having an operation code. What you are going to perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and so on. So source one, source two will be uh, doing the operation code between these two. If it is addition, we'll be doing the addition between the source one and source two. The answer will be stored in destination. So this is in this form. Destination is equal to source one plus source two. Okay. An example will be add A, B, C. Now how it works is add will be performed between A and B and that answer will be stored in C. Let me repeat. Add will be happened between A and B and that will be stored in C. What the point? C is equal to A plus B. Okay. That is a three address uh, format. Two address format will be having an operation code and a source and a source slash destination. So destination will be source plus destination. Okay. So here the sequence will be as follows. Move A into R naught okay and move b into r1 now r0 has a r1 has b what we will do add r1 r0 comma r1 and move the value of r1 into c means when we add r0 not in r1 the value will be stored in r1 okay the answer will be stored in r1 and we'll be moving r1 to c okay so we'll be using the registers here and at a point of time we are just doing one operation like moving or uh, adding okay we are cannot directly add a and b value we have to store it in the register then add it then uh, move the answer to the another register okay that is about the two address uh, mode moving on we have the one address mode okay in one address mode there will be an operation code and operand what is to be done and uh, on what data is it is to be done first for example we'll load a it loads the content of a into accumulator here accumulator will be present that is a temporary variable here a is loaded first okay load a after that store a store a means this a will be stored in the memory okay in the memory location Okay. Now in memory location I have A, then add B is present. When we do add B, B will be added to the value present here and that value will be again stored here only. That is accumulator. Okay, accumulator will have the final answer after that and then uh, we'll be uh, taking the final answer. So this answer will be there A plus B. Okay, that is about the one address instruction. Moving on to the second super important question, we have explained the basic operation concepts of a computer with a neat diagram. Another question which can be asked similar to this is explain the basic functional units. Okay, that is a different one. There will be five functional units. Okay, that question is also asked, but this is more repeated one. Don't miss uh, the functional unit question as well. Okay, in that you have to make a diagram in which input, output, CPU, memory address register, memory data register, and control unit. These five things will be there. That diagram is there. You can watch the theory video of mine, uh, the module three of DDCO. The link you can find in the description box. In that I have explained that uh, basic functional units also. So uh, read the question very carefully. Here it is basic operation concept. This is a different thing. Okay, so operation concepts include instruction execution execution and or connection between processor and memory okay so briefly we will discuss what is instruction execution and the main answer is present in the between the processor and memory connection between the processor and memory here the diagram is also there okay so what is instruction execution the program to be executed is stored in the memory okay see in the uh, whatever we want to execute that is stored where it's stored in the memory okay if this is the memory here what will be stored instruction that is to be executed instructions can be accessed from the memory and processed one by one uh, and executed okay so there will be a list of things to be performed one by one it will be taken and it will be executed okay like that that is what uh, the instruction execution is and the format will be as follows op code source and destination operation code and source and destination what should happen between them the operation code will be uh, defining that the following are the general steps uh, first fetch the instruction decode the instruction access the memory operand then access the register operand once you have got the memory and the register operand perform the operation after that store the result in destination register okay 
or the main diagram which you have to make is between connection between processor and memory this is the memory and this is the processor okay so between the memory and processor it's connected in three uh, parts the first part is related to memory address register it will store what it will store the address data register will store the data and control unit will perform uh, handle the data between the processor and memory as well as the io operations okay so more details of uh, all of these you have to define okay after writing this you have to write about all of them so few two or uh, one or two points for each of them are MAR is memory address register. It establishes communication between memory and processor. Okay, see this is the processor. This is the memory. So it establishes a connection. MDR will also establish connection. Control unit will also establish connection. But MAR will store address of the memory location. MDR will store the content of memory location. Control unit also does the uh, communication establishment, but it controls the data transfer between the memory and processor. Also, it controls input output operations. Okay. Next is program counter. It holds the next instruction to be executed. See, there is a big list of instructions and uh, which instruction is next to be executed that is stored by program counter. Okay. General purpose register will store the temporary data. Okay. This will store the temporary data, temp data. Okay. Some data if you want, like for example, if you got answer 21 that 21 will be stored here and after some time we will be taking it from here okay for that general purpose register is used instruction register it holds the instruction to be executed which current instruction is being executed it holds that instruction okay pc will be having the next instruction instruction register will be having the current instruction Le last one is alu arithmetic logic unit it performs the arithmetic and logical operations for the given data okay Moving on to the third super important question, what is addressing mode? Explain the different addressing modes with an example of each. Either they can specifically ask you some addressing mode like index, indirect and so on. All, or else they can ask you any 5, any 6, any 7 like that. Here in this case, I have taken the general question where we'll be explaining what is the uh, addressing mode first and then we'll be explaining uh, the different addressing modes present. Okay, so the different uh, addressing modes uh means that there are different ways of uh, accessing an instruction okay different ways in which the location of an operand is specified in an instruction or referred are referred to as addressing modes okay how we specify the instruction so there are totally eight addressing modes how many are there eight are there how many are there eight are there okay so the first one is immediate okay we'll be uh, discussing that with examples here let's just go through it immediate means it will directly store the value okay register means some value will be present in register that will be taken absolute direct means the location of the memory will be uh, taken into consideration indirect means this is the place where uh, the data will be stored okay we are taking it indirectly from here index means how much more it should go for, uh, further okay means if ri is the register i have to uh, move x units then i'll get the address base with index means ri plus rj okay means in register i there is some value or register j there is some value when we add up these values what answer we will get there is my final answer okay base index with offset okay means ri plus rj plus x okay that is the effective index relative means program counter program counter if it is suppose in 4 and x is in 5 means four, uh, 5 locations from the program counter is the uh, place where i want the instruction auto increment means the register will increment uh, one value to the address which is pointed auto decrement means it will decrease one value this is true when we are uh, executing an array operation when the first uh, uh, value is taken we have to increment and take the second value then increment take the third value and so on so in that case auto increment is used and similar some cases auto decrement will also be used so some examples uh, you can uh, you have to this example in the exam immediate mode move 200 to RA. So 200 will be moved to RA and operand will be equal to value. Okay. Operand is equal to value. 200 is the address. Register mode, whatever is there in R1, put in R2. Okay. Absolute mode, direct mode, whatever is there in location in the memory store, put it in R2. In indirect mode, there are two ways. Okay through a general purpose register through a memory location in through a general purpose register where suppose that it is having add what is present in r1 to r0 okay now we will go and fetch what is present in r1 in r1 what is present b is present so b will be added with r0 like that we are going and fetching right that is called as indirect okay here also uh, add what is present in a to r0 what is present in a in a b is present so b will be added to r0 got the point Next is index mode. In index mode, uh, we'll be doing x r i, so it will be r i plus x. Okay. So like for example, uh, load r two twenty r five. So what will happen? The value of r two will be stored. Where it will be stored? Twenty locations from r five. Twenty locations from r five. If this is r five, twenty locations from r five is the place where the r two will be stored. Okay. 
Next is base with index and offset. Offset. Okay. So this is same as the index which we discussed previously. But here there will be a base also. Okay. Base means another register will be there. We will be just adding another register values also. Uh, previous to the normal one. Okay. Another register value also will add and take that offset. Okay. Ri value also will be there something. And after Ri value, that value will be taken from here. Okay. That will be the final destination address. Relative means x PC uh, x locations from the program counter. Okay, this operation fetches the next instruction after x spaces. Okay, auto decrement and increment. R I plus means it will increment the register value. R I uh, minus R I means it will decrement the register value. Okay, these are the eight addressing modes with example. Very important question from exam point of view. Next is uh, differentiate between big Indian and little Indian assignment. This is also a very much repeated question. Don't miss this. It's a very easy question. Okay. In big Indian, lower byte addresses are used for more significant bytes. Okay. Lower bytes will be there in the left hand side. Okay. That is big Indian. So as you can see, this is big in, uh, Indian. Here, the left hand side will be zero. Okay. This is more significant, lesser, 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 and so on. This kind of uh, representation is called as big Indian. Okay. Little Indian will have right side zero. Okay. And the most significant bytes will be there in the right side okay so this is the little indian assignment all you have to do is this much only easily easily can score eight marks okay next is the last super important question which is write a program to evaluate the arithmetic expression y is equal to a plus b into c plus d using four types of instruction addressing three address two address one address and zero address instruction this is also very simple and interesting question see here three address how you will do in three address instruction each instruction can operate three operands okay three operands it will operate so we'll write add T1 comma A comma B. So A1 and uh, A and B will be added and it will be stored in T1. Another operation will do C and D will be added and it will be stored in T2. Now T1 has A plus B, T2 has uh, C into uh, C plus D. So A plus B is ready in T1 and C plus D is ready in T2. We'll just multiply of both of them and store it in Y. So you can guess what is the code? Multiply store in Y, T1 and T2 you add, uh, multiply them and store it in uh, Y. That is about three instructions. Two instruction will have just two operands. Okay, in two operands, what we'll do? Move A to T1, add B to T1. So T1 already has what? T1 already has A. If we do add B, add B means the value of B will be added and it will be stored in T1 only. Like that, we will do move T to C means C value will be stored in T2 and add T to D means D value will be added to T2 which already has C. So now T2 will be having C then uh, D. So C plus D is there in T2 and in T1 there is A plus B. Now we will just multiply both of them. How we will multiply? Multiply T1 comma T2 and whatever the value of uh, answer will be there that will be stored in T1. We will move it to Y. Okay, got the point. Next is one address instruction. We will have just one instruction here. Load A, add B. See, when we do load A, where it is getting stored? It is stored in accumulator. Accumulator is a temporary variable. So A will be loaded here. Add B means whatever the value accumulator has, that will be B. And store T1, this answer will be stored in T1. When we do store T1, the accumulator becomes empty. So in T1, what we have? A plus. Now accumulator is empty. Now what we will do with the empty accumulator? Next is load C, add D, store T2. Means in accumulator, C plus D will be there and that will be stored in T2. Okay. After that, load T1 multiply t2 load t1 when we do in accumulator t1 will come okay in accumulator t1 will come then we are doing multiply t2 so t2 will be multiplied with this one and that answer will be again stored to y okay our last we are doing store y so t1 into t2 will be stored in y that is equivalent to a plus b into c plus d okay that will be stored in y Okay, this is one address instruction. The zero address instruction, the operations are performed using a stack. Okay, there will be a stack using which you will be performing the operations. First is push A. So in the stack, first you'll push A. Then we'll when we do push B here, B will also come. Then when you do add, when we do add, the last two things will get added and it will be stored there only. Then we'll do C and D. After that, we'll do add. So C and D will be added and it will be stored in the stack. So in the stack, now two operations, uh, two things are there. A plus B is of that. C plus D is there. Now we'll do multiply. Means these two values will get multiplied. And then we'll pop Y means whatever the answer is there, that will be displayed. Okay. This is about the, the instruction, uh, different types of instruction, four types for Y is equal to A plus B into C plus D. Okay. This is our 10 question. Very important question from exam point of view. It's repeated also. Okay. So don't miss it. That's all for this video and uh, if you like this video, please do like and subscribe. It helps me make more videos like this and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.